Justin Bieber this is morning. Your, is you your Wi-Fi on? Oh, you, you always ask that question. No. Of course it is. Of course. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Day right, Too Many. Now. How are you? What's going Welcome on, everybody? To Welcome day to Day Too Many. Welcome to Tuesday. Two. Oh, yeah, it is Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Oh, All day yesterday. For some reason, I thought yesterday was Tuesday. Matt Amen. Moreland. How are you? How's Haley? You guys good? Doing well? So good. So good. <laughs> All right. So oh, many. Oh, man. So I'm finding the comments thing. right here. So many important Hi, things Jody. happen. Happening. Diane Absolutely. Still Michelle. getting our stuff together here this morning. Still, Jody, still getting, we're always what's getting happening? Our stuff <laughs> we're always getting our stuff together, baby. Yes, Paul ah. noticed the hat. I did. I went to the feed store, got a new hat because. <laughs> You can't do nothing with this no more. I've given Hi, up. Good morning, I've given up. I've given up trying to fix the hat. I mean the hair. Ooh, it's time for football. It's for football. Good lord, it's only April. It's not time oh. for football yet, but yeah. Oh. But I like the jersey. Wait, aren't they doing like a draft or something? That was last weekend, honey. It's all okay. over now. Uh, oh <laughs> that's it. That's it. Well, Joe Platts is on. I see Ernest. Hooey! Hooey! I tell you, I need the salons to open right now. Oh, we're switching the game. Hooey! You already got, got your fishing. We got a little fishing you announcement fishing yesterday. Game. So, what's up, Craig Smith? Oh, yeah. yeah, fishing's gonna happen, <laughs> man. Is it Tuesday that fishing's gonna happen? Uh, is that the fifth? May fifth. May fourth. May 5th. May 5th is Cinco de Mayo. Okay, that's fishing day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's fishing day. May 5th, I believe, is fishing day. Babe, I got a new so, one. So I'm thinking, y'all, um, I'm thinking that the river is going to be smoking because there's not been any pressure on these fish for like seven weeks. Oh, so uh, Jeff and Melinda Live might be just Melinda Live next Tuesday. <laughs> Wait. What? Don't you need somebody to row the boat? Um, row, row, row. I think I might just have yeah, a guy. Down the street. No, I, you can't do that. What? You have to do it with your only people that live in your immediate family. You know how many immediate brothers I have right now? Oh my gosh. Like, we were on the phone yesterday, and you're a brother, and you're a brother, and you're a brother, and you're a brother. Ah! Fake IDs are on the way right now. I'm telling you, we're, we're going. We used to. Oh, babe. Well, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Every, gosh. Everybody's last name is Inslee. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Oh, we're all going to be Jay's brother. The governor? Ooh, I, I just clicked. Okay. Hi, babe. Hey, Sevy Sev. There's, so I'd like to ask you a question. Why does it keep night? glitching? Uh, it's just been glitching a lot like this. I, it doesn't come through, though. It only just does it on mom's computer. Go. I'd like to ask you a question okay, about go. last night. What What was it? What? Okay. I like. I had to just let it go. <laughs> I don't know if it's okay for you to ask me this. Didn't you ask me last night, do you ever feel like a weirdo? And I'm like, ha, ha. And you said, no, for real. Do you ever feel like a weirdo? <laughs> Yeah, you're Why one of these right now. What? Uh-oh. I did not ask that. Uh, I don't even know you, what you're yeah, talking. You yeah, you did. You well, in what like context? I don't know, but listen, today, I got a new mask. Are you okay, going to wear that out Oh, today? yeah. That is awesome. I'm going to go to the feed store just because. Look. <sighs> it's falling up here. It's fogging no, up your glasses. No, for real, that happens every time. I know. I know. It's crazy. How do you stop that? I don't know, but Pamela's watching, and Paula is watching, hey! and Jason is watching, and Daisy's oh, hey, watching. Jason? <laughs> Susan's watching. Absolutely. So, so it's supposed to anyway, be warm today. Anyway, me and all my brothers with the last name Inslee are going fishing. Next on, week. Next week on on uh, on Tuesday. Aaron. If you're, if you're all interested, we're going to hit the river. Proper social distancing, of course. 
Oh, of course. Don't you normally go to the river to get away from everything? And Yeah, but man, let's be honest. The river ain't had no pressure on it for like seven weeks. It's going to be... Is that what you call fishing? Pressure? Not only that, yeah, the fish get pressure on them, so then they're not as active. So then... So then we're talking fly fishing here, folks. And I know I got friends like, friends don't let friends fly fish. Well, you know what? Sitting in a boat in the middle of a Why lake. Why did you say it like that? Because they always, okay, I get better, more. better? Like you're better. Yeah, I it get, sounds like you're better I get about more, it because I've never heard anybody say, friends don't let friends fly fish. Oh, well, you haven't listened closely enough then because I got a few. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, but I love it. But anyway, no pressure on the fish. And so it is going to be on like Donkey Kong, especially. Kenny especially because Good like morning. spring is here and the bugs are hatching anybody else with me what's up mary i have not panic cleaned for visitors in quite a while and it shows in the house <laughs> i haven't panic fixed Somebody my eyebrows in a while my driveway so i can clean up real fast <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. Oh my God. yeah totally pick up the socks totally i was gonna say no. underwear but that one hey lyle What's going on, Law? How are you? You know, I mean, Paul and Lori. I mean, I think that this this whole whoa that we're dealing with, yeah. I, I think it's created. I think there's some really cool things out of it. You do okay. Uh, <laughs> Tell me. I have Clayton. He I is have, doing art and woodwork <clears throat> because he's an introvert. I have. Celebrate I have significantly enjoyed hanging out with you <gasps> yeah. hey that yeah. makes up for what you said last night <laughs> I, I didn't even no. say you totally i'm made, sorry she I'm totally sorry. made that up just no, to flop that wonder woman thing no i didn't i actually why <laughs> did i ask kidding. that question <gasps> i don't know i think i was dancing and you're like do you ever feel like a weirdo well, <laughs> listen okay okay wow. so <laughs> so it's supposed to be warm today this? Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. My friend Anne Marie, she posted, am I supposed to dig out my summer shorts or am I supposed to chop the legs off my pajamas? Asking for a friend. So I think you're supposed to chop the legs off your pajamas. Your day pajamas, not your night pajamas. There's a difference. Like cut off pajamas? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Daisy Duke pajamas? <laughs> I don't know. Stop. That's all I can think of when you started. When you said, no. when you agreed to, no. when no, you no, agreed no. to cut off pajamas, I'm like, all right, we're going. Stop! Stop! Don't say it again. We're going. Don't say it again. Oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> all right. Okay. Hey, Chris. Okay. So, yesterday we got into that thing. Uh, about oh oh wait, I found a great meme. I have to thank our friend Melinda for this one, right there. Week one of Zoom meetings, week four <laughs> of Zoom meetings. There's a lot of there's a lot of truth to that, isn't there? Oh my gosh. Oh, it's Taco Tuesday. It is Taco Tuesday. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get on the bandwagon. Damn. Oh, bandwagon. Let's go. All right. So <laughs> no, I said no. Anyway, did you think I cussed? Oh geez. Dang. <laughs> Water's coming out my nose. Why do you That's do gross. that? Oh, don't use my handkerchief. Okay. So yeah. yesterday we were talking about yeah. Joshua, strong, courageous, defeating the kings. Right. We thought about the. We talked about I the about king. That all day. That was a really great. Word. <clears throat> the king of negative thoughts. Okay, yeah. I don't. Okay, so fourteen. I, I watched the news this morning. Like four states are opening up. Okay, so. Yeah, so you mean like fully opening up? No, like not everybody's fully opening up, but you can I think you can I think you can drive to Montana and get your eyebrows fixed though, which I just might take a road trip this afternoon. Um But um so so it got me thinking about the battle that goes on because the battle of the mind is not gonna stop even after we go back to work and everything opens up and all this is behind us. You're gonna have to battle negative thoughts. Some people are going to be battling like fallout from this. Some people that never got the COVID are going to be dealing with the COVID for a long time, right? Yeah. And and so I want to I want to I want to tell a quick story here. Uh, I told the story years and years ago, but this prof <clears throat> had a college class, and he handed out a test, and every student had the test, and he tells them, 
Uh, when he tells them, he says, you're going to turn the paper over when I say go, and you're going to write about what you see. You're not going to get a grade for this. You're just going to write about what you see. So all the papers are face down. He says, go. Everybody turns the paper over. And in the middle of this piece of paper, there is a black dot. And the instructions were what? Write about what you see. And so everybody starts writing about the black dot. They write about the roundness of the black dot. They write about the blackness of the black dot. They write about the position of the black dot on the paper. There was surprisingly a lot to... surprisingly a lot to write about a black dot, okay? He collects all the papers, and, and here comes the point. He collects all the papers and he reads through them and he's really marveling at the depth that college kids could go to to write about a black dot. But something caught him by surprise. Nobody wrote about the white space Ooh. around the black dot. And here's the truth in the battle of your mind. Here's the truth with, like, if you have to deal with negativity. Yesterday, we quoted that scripture out of Corinthians that, in fact, uh, uh, I'm just going to read it here real quick because I, uh, I think it's relevant. Um, we demolish arguments, 2 Corinthians 10, 5. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Demolish. We demolish it. Right. When we're dealing with a black dot situation, meaning there's something that seemingly is demanding all of our attention and focus. The, obviously, the media has a way to just put our eyes on the black dot. We take captive all the thoughts that exalt themselves against the knowledge of God uh -huh. Uh -huh. so we don't miss the white space around the black dot. Those of you just tuning in told a story about a professor that put a black dot on a white sheet of paper, told his, his students, no grade for this, just write about yeah. what you see. Everybody wrote about the black dot. Nobody wrote about the white space. The point is, is a lot of times when we're in seasons like this, we will focus just on the thing that's right in the middle of the page and we will miss the white space of opportunity that is all around us. Nice. Yeah, well that's, you know, yeah. I don't want to be no, so focused on yeah. this virus yeah. that we miss the quality the goodness and the goodness and, and, the and there are a lot of things during this time that I will forever be grateful. I'll forever be grateful uh, for eating at home more. I mean, we have done eight at home like a lot. Like you're welcome, babe. You... <laughs> I mean, I you caught that me. fish. You never. I cooked that fish. I cleaned that fish. Anyway, yeah, yeah, so good. Jim Woods. What's up, Jim Woods? I saw Bill Davis on there. Chris, Chris Singles there. Look at that. Awesome. Tell me somebody. All right. So, anyway. Yeah, I just think that I just think you gotta Joseph, gotta stay strong. Joe Inslee, pick me. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Seven Addison Knight is in the house. Got some eggs. Got a what is that? Is that like a blue one? I like the blue ones. Which chicken lays the blue one? Because I'm. A, I think it's this which? one's my chicken egg. Are you sure? Yeah. How do you know? Because it's beautiful. Oh, I like the blue one. Here, hold it. It's warm. No, no, don't hold it. I don't want to hold it. I want, I want chicken poop all over you. There's no chicken poop on this. Oh, oh, gross. All right. Okay. God bless you, child. No, no one says that anymore. They just go, ah! <laughs> Nobody says God bless you anymore. There you go, ah! <laughs> that's good, that's good. Oh, that's good, that's good. No, no. Nobody. That's good. Nobody says God bless Did you. They you just jump out of the way. Yes. <laughs> oh, all this time spent with Jesus is awesome. There's definitely light at the end of the tunnel and through it too. Come on. That's good, that Benjamin. Is yeah, absolutely. True. Lori and Paul, seriously, I can't wait to not have to cook. 
Tammy says hi, Seth. Daisy. Hey, yeah. Lori, hi, Seth. Hi. Yeah. Everybody says hi to Seven. She's kicking it. Kicking Come it. On. Come Seth, on. what's the plan today? It's okay. no plan. All right. So, I want it. All right. Well, hey, let's pray for some people and get on out of here. Okay. You got well, a big day. I got some science oh. experiment. Listen, you, like, finish the chicken tractor. Yeah, we got a chicken tractor to finish. If you go on my story, I uh, took a video of the chicken tractor. Uh, it's called the hen den. It's the hen den now. But now I think it's like a salon. It looks like a pedicure. All those little, little things. stations. Yeah. Well, that's where they go and roost and mm -hmm. have oh, more okay. eggs. All right. I feel like we will eat five times a week, eat, eat out five times a week after this is over. Oh, maybe. That's, that's true. Okay, so I, I woke up just with something impressed on my heart. So I went and got some scriptures. You're jumping in. We're like 16 minutes into this thing. Okay, I'll just read one of the scriptures. All right. <sighs> Psalm 16, 8. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. Mm. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Come on. I felt like this morning, uh, I just, I was praying. I was laying in bed and I got up and started praying. And I just think, I just really sensed that some people had an overwhelming fear. And so oh. I just went and got some scriptures that, you know, the Lord says he is with you. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. Be strong. Just do not be afraid. For, or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you and will never forsake you. The Lord will fight for you. You only need to be still. I just felt like the Lord wanted to- Read another one. <laughs> Read another one. No weapon formed against you will prevail and you will refute every tongue that accuses you. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and this is their vindication from one. From me, says the Lord. Read another one. No, we got to go. No, read another one. I shouldn't have said that. God is our refuge and strength, our ever-present help in trouble. Be still. The Lord will fight for you. Do not be afraid. Stand firm, and you will see the deliverance the Come Lord on. will bring you today. Yes. So we just pray right now in Jesus' name yes. that, that there is peace. Peace in your mind, peace yes. in your home, peace of your life. We just thank you, Lord, that you are fighting their battles. Or we just come against terror. We come against fear right yeah. now in Jesus' name. Yeah. The, the bad kind of fear. We just come mm. against it right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that you are already, you, you already have been meeting mm. whomever it is I was praying for, whomever it, whomever it is. Did they lose? I don't know. Oh, someone's oh. texting me they lost this. The... They might have. Okay. Well, anyway, All I right, know the Lord's already met you. Yep. Yep. We will uh we will uh be praying for you today, thinking about you today. Uh wanna uh yeah, we'll be here tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. And I'm thinking about inviting this crew to do this tomorrow night. So uh that'd be kind of fun. Uh we meet with uh, zoom, zoom, a lot zoom. of our key volunteers at the Rock Church on Wednesday night. Uh we got a three-phase plan to open up again. As uh, things start rolling out here in Washington, and we want you to be a part of it, yes. we want to want to get like twenty to fifty, thirty to fifty, twenty to forty uh, small <laughs> groups in homes going as soon as they release groups of fifty, yeah. and uh, it's going to be awesome. All right, y'all, we love you. We're praying for you, and we'll see you tomorrow at ten a.m. Ten a.m.